Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Now there are many versions of what countries are in Eastern Europe. So I'm going by the UN and the countries we're focusing on are Belarus, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Moldova, Poland, Romania, Russia, Slovakia and the Ukraine. So if you didn't see the country that you think should be in there, please write in to, I'm probably not going to answer. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Libya, Ukraine. Libya is a city of legends, home to over 720,000 people. It's compact and a walkable city, located in western Ukraine, around 70 kilometers from the border with Poland. Now it's different from the rest of Ukraine. You will immediately notice a difference in its architecture, which blends Central and Eastern European styles with those of Italy and Germany, rather than the Soviet architecture that you will see in the rest of the country. You should check out the Sensor, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site bursting with more than 2,000 registered landmarks. But if you like high views, you should climb the high castle. Gdansk, Poland Yes, the first shots of the Nazi invasion of Poland were fired over the medieval church tops and docks of the free city of Gdansk back in 1939. As you stroll along the riverside, here you'll find some of the city's most illustrious architecture, including the crane. The massive outline of St. Mary's Church is what dominates the skyline of the Gdansk Old Town, with a world-famous war museum, historic sites such as Vesterplata, cathedrals, huge parks, and of course walking through Mariachka Street, admiring the amber trinkets it will be very difficult for you to resist this city of Gdansk. The Moravian Fields, the Czech Republic. The Moravian Fields look like an oil painting, but these pastel colored hills are as real as it gets. The Czech Republic's easternmost region is often referred to as the Moravian Tuscany. Due to its uncanny resemblance to the rolling hills in Italy, or even better as some say. The area is an easy day trip from Prague, so head towards the town of Sharditschi, and there you will find some amazing views. Number 4. Trans for Garishan, Romania More than 150 kilometers in length, Trans for Garishan Highway is Romania's most spectacular and best known road. They say it's the best road in the world, or at least while comparing it to a racetrack. But still, Trans for Garishan offers so much more besides the amazing driving experience. 
with beautiful nature and glacial lakes, it's the perfect area for hiking and going for that scenic drive. Number five, Ovdiv, Bulgaria. One of the oldest cities in the world and the oldest continuously inhabited city in Europe is situated in Bulgaria. Now some reports suggest that Plovdiv was founded in 4000 BC or 6000 BC and since then the town was always inhabited. Not surprisingly, Plovdiv was elected for European Capital of Culture in 2019. The city has changed hands many times over. It's been a capital, has suffered earthquakes and wars, but it's survived. The highlights here are the old town of Plovdiv and undoubtedly the ancient theater. Number six. Sochi, Russia. A Russian city on the Black Sea, known as a summer beach resort and was host of the 2014 Winter Olympics. It's Russia's only subtropical resort city that stretches along the picturesque coast of the Black Sea. With a permanent population approaching 350,000, it holds the record as the largest resort city in Russia. Of course, the many beaches make the city popular in the summer, but in contrast, skiing in a nearby mountain makes it an ideal place for those winter vacations. Number 7. Budapest, Hungary Budapest is the perfect European city to visit for a long weekend or just a short city break. The Danube runs through the centre of the city, splitting it into two distinct districts, Buda and Pest. A funicular runs up Castle Hill to the old town Buda, where you'll get fabulous views across the river to the stunning Hungarian parliament building. Fisherman's Bastion, a 13th century Matthias Church, and the famous Gilart Thermal Baths. They're all on the Buddha side. You can cross the chain bridge to explore Pest with its trendy ruin bars, ornate coffee shops, a food market, and the grandeur of Hero Square. Number 8. Minsk. Belarus. A Soviet era architecture, world renowned arts venues such as the Bolshoi Opera and Ballet, as well as quirky sites like the Cat Museum that draw visitors to the capital city of Belarus. Yes, despite being almost obliterated during World War II, Minsk has transformed itself into one of the country's most progressive and vibrant cities over recent decades. This often dismissed destination is well worth a weekend break. Not everyone speaks English, but the locals are friendly enough to help you, especially if you're a foreigner. And it is really true. It is one of the cleanest cities that I've ever been to. Number nine, Number 9. Sibiu, Romania Sibiu is one of the most beautiful and most visited cities of Romania. It's located in Transylvania, approximately in the centre of the country, making it easily accessible from any point. 
Sibiu, thanks to its beauty, became the cultural capital of Europe 10 years ago, when countless events took place in the city. It's a pedestrian-friendly city with two easily accessible levels, the upper town, which is home to most of Sibiu's historic sites, and the lower, lined with colourful houses on cobblestone streets, and bounded all by imposing city walls and defence towers. Highlights would be to visit the church tower, where you can get some fantastic views Mikulov, Czech Republic. Mikulov is one of the best towns in the region for history enthusiasts due to its famous Mikulov Castle. Originally erected in the 13th century and rebuilt following World War II, the castle now hosts tours to educate visitors on its surprising past conflicts with the royal family and its importance during the 18th and 19th centuries. Nowadays, the region is well known for its winemaking and its charming market square, full of pastel coloured buildings and romantic landscapes. It's a town bursting with culture and beauty, just waiting to be discovered once again. Number 11. The High Tatras Mountains, Slovakia. The High Tatras are a mountain range that span the border between Poland and Slovakia. So when people say High Tatras, they mean the majestic peaks touching to the sky. The Gerlovski Steet is the highest of the High Tatras and of Slovakia. For its height and breathtaking scenery, it is one of the most visited and challenging peaks. The dark turquoise mountain lakes, glacier origin, waterfalls, unique plants, rare animals, and the exceptionally clean air and environment, which apparently is great for healing respiratory conditions. Simply put, this is a wonderful place for those of you who love to experience the outdoors. Number 12. St. Petersburg, Russia. St. Petersburg is often referred to as the northern capital of Russia and the Venice of the north. In my opinion, however, it looks more like a mix of Paris, Vienna, Stockholm and Amsterdam as each of these cities have had a strong influence on the architecture of St. Petersburg back in the 18th century. But nonetheless, St. Petersburg is quite unique and definitely stands out in the region of Eastern Europe, with its lavish palaces, huge cathedrals and gorgeous city square. And I have to say, I find it more beautiful than Moscow. Number 13. Chisinau, Moldova Moldova's capital is certainly the country's brightest and cosmopolitan city and is undoubtedly one of the most and is undoubtedly one of the must-see places when you come to Moldova. It's also a place of history, much of which is still visible in the architecture of the old town. The main sites are easily viewed on foot, such as the City Hall, the Arch of Triumph, the bell tower and the Orthodox Church are all in the center. But try not to compare this city with a place like Paris. It might seem like Chisinau is the most boring capital you will ever encounter, but you're not there for its beauty. You're there to experience a different vibe and an atmosphere of a city that's completely different to yours. Number 
number 14, Rodopi Mountains, Bulgaria. If you ask Bulgarians which is their favourite mountain range in Bulgaria, many, if not most, would say the Rodopi Mountains. I hope I'm saying it right, otherwise my friend will go nuts. It's not the best for hiking, but it's the best for culture, rock phenomena, and traditional festivals. But there's something here that's interesting called the Devil's Bridge. It's situated 10 kilometers from the Bulgarian town of Ardina. It was built in 15th century by Master Dimitar. Now this is one of the places in Bulgaria that is still authentic. There you will not see any retailers or coffee houses. The only people that you can meet are some tourists who have heard about this amazing place or local fishermen. Number 15. Gemo Andriad, Hungary. Wrocław, Poland. Everyone loved Wrocław, and it's easy to see why. With an idyllic location along the river, the city comprises of 12 islands and 130 bridges. The beautifully preserved Cathedral Island is a treat for anyone who enjoys Gothic architecture. It's absorbed many influences. And the city has a unique architectural and cultural makeup symbolized by its magnificent market square. But Wrocław is not just a pretty face, it's Poland's fourth largest city, a major commercial and educational center for the region. Several theaters, festivals, nightlife is all right here. Of course, it was going to be on this list. This is definitely one of the must-see places to visit in the Czech Republic. Aptly named City of a Hundred Spires, the Prague skyline is interrupted by towering cathedrals adorned with steeples, all topped with wrought iron crosses that pierce through the skies. The capital is one of the most popular cities to visit on any European itinerary, and that's for good reason. You'll find yourself spending countless hours wandering its many cobbled streets, but I highly recommend you wake up super early in the morning to enjoy the city in peace. But if you really want a in-depth guide into Prague, check out the Honest Guide channel. Bratislava, Slovakia. 
Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, is set along the Danube River by the border with Austria and Hungary. It's surrounded by vineyards and the little Carpathian Mountains, crisscrossed with forested hiking and cycling trails. You have the pedestrian-only 18th century Old Town, which is known for its lively bars and cafes. Perched atop a hill, the reconstructed Bratislava Castle overlooks Old Town and the Danube. Highlights are the Blue Church, the UFO Tower, the Old Town Hall, and make sure you visit both inside and the out, but don't forget to head down to the basement to see examples of medieval torture instruments. Overall, a short distance away from Austria and a worthy city to visit. Bucharest, Romania. Bucharest, the capital of Romania, it's a dynamic modern city with a wildly sensational history. Nicknamed the Little Paris in the early 1900s, Bucharest really plays the part with tons and tons of cafes, impressive tree-lined boulevards and a dramatic modern and historic architecture. Home to many attractions and the most remarkable landmark is the monstrous Parliament Palace. Being equally enormous and ostentatious, it's a mind-blowing architectural feat trumped only in size by the Pentagon. Where there are many examples of Bucharest's cultural and architectural splendor, the highlights include the Romanian Athenaeum, an elaborately domed circular building that is the city's main concert hall. You can check out Bucharest University and the National History Museum. Bucharest is a top city to visit and you'll only hear negative vibes and opinions from probably 90% of people who have never been there before just because it's in Romania. And remember, those people absolutely suck. So don't listen. Krakow's Old Town. See the beauty of the Old Town with its original medieval street layout, marvelous architecture and unique atmosphere that distinguishes Krakow from the rest of Poland. I'll be honest, it's my favorite city. But as the former capital of Poland, it has a rich history which is still visible in its architecture today. Now UNESCO recognizes the old town of Krakow with the Jewish quarter Kazimierz counted in. Florianska is the most vibrant and lively street in the city center. It leads from St. Florian's Gate to St. Mary's Church and is full of hidden gems. Just like this cafe I went to, which you can see on my Krakow playlist. So there is so much to see and do in this area alone. And that brings me to the next place. Vavil. This castle is undoubtedly one of the most important historical sites in the whole of Poland. When Krakow was the capital of Poland, the Vavil royal castle was where the Polish kings resided, 1333 to 1795.
And there you have it folks, that was 20 top Eastern European places I highly recommend that you visit. Yes, I got this list from the UN website, so if you didn't see a country that you think is Eastern European, then it's not my fault because this is one topic that really divides opinion. There are so many opinions about it and nobody is going to agree with everyone. But that's it from me. As always, be good, be kind, be careful and subscribe.